I don't like to start things off being a hater or talking shit, but a couple things have come to my mind, and let's see if my thoughts can put it out in these words. There's a couple group of lifters. We're already in a niche, we're already in a culture, and then people start to divide themselves. The kind of elitists that won't deadlift on anything but a Leco, comp plates, etc., etc. They need the finest shit in the world, even though their Wilks are under, or their Dots are under 400. Those motherfuckers tend to be the ones, and I say motherfuckers endearingly, I love y'all, that pull sumo and arch a lot. Right? That crowd kind of goes hand in hand sometimes. Those motherfuckers be the first ones to talk shit on me for using a deadlift bar and pound plates because it's easier. Huh? Am I right? That makes sense, right? Because they'll be talking shit on that a deadlift bar and plates make it easier. But for them, ultra wide sumo and arching makes it easier. So why don't we all just like lift how we want to lift and lift heavy. And if you're working hard in your own little pocket, then why don't we got blinders on? Like horse races, horses have blinders on so they don't fuck with who's on either side of them. All they worry about is running their best race. They got a jockey up there and they be riding and they, be, they lovingly spank that hoe, but that's because we're on the team together and I'll be the eyes for y'all. And then all the other horses are just like this. So what, what we need here is y'all to be them horses and I'll be that guiding light. I'm Silent Mike, welcome to the video. We got some squats today, it's a little chilly. I actually wish I had more hate, right? Because that means I'm more relevant. I don't mind all that. I do, I just think it's weird that other fuckers are hating on each other. Most of them don't hate on me, I feel like. But everyone's just hating on each other. Like, to me, it's all, it's all like on a spit. Like, we, we're all like race car drivers. What kind of car you drive, I don't care. I, mean, I don't need to talk shit. Like, if you like Formula One and I like to drift and, and they like to uh, ride NASCAR and then these guys like to do uh, quarter mile sprints, they like to the dragster. Why do I care? It's just all different. Like, I like cars, I like barbells, I like people getting stronger. And if it's so damn easy, you go load up some pound plates on a deadlift bar. I don't care. And then people, the other thing is when people like uh, on, on the internet to get likes will say and call out people that live for clout. You're calling me out for clout. Mommy, I love pussy, but I'm not licking. What? Name of the song? It's just what Juvenile taught me. I heard this song, I was walking through Waterworld you know Waterworld? Yeah. Walking through Waterworld, probably in... When the song came out? When did the song came out, bro? Probably fourth grade. And I got my Nautica Ross special trunks on. And you know when you're little, for some reason, you always have a belly? Nautica goes crazy. You yeah, know? Distended. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. I was probably walking around like this. And this is the... Well, you weren't that little. You're fourth grade. Ten? Yeah, you're not distended then. No, I was. I ate a lot of cheeses. <laughs> That's like a baby. I ate a lot of cheeses <laughs> as a kid. No, it just means you're fat. You're no, a fat kid. <laughs> I'm talking about like when I'm like three or four. Like, no, 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 no. This was me. Like when you walk around your stomach. Oh, yeah, this was me. That's, but with some Nautica shorts, I'm like, how happy. That I kid's fat. No, no, no. That kid is fat. We just haven't heard. We just haven't reached puberty yet. So That's we what went, it is. Puberty bro. is stopping you from being skinny. And I don't know why at Waterworld, when everyone's fat and distended like me, and I got my Nautica shorts on with the netting, which is so uncomfortable, my balls are out. Where now I Nautica wonder, goes there. goes crazy right now. I don't know where your ball your balls are out though. Yeah, the mesh. Yeah. Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah. But this song came on. Yeah. Something you know, like a light bulb moment. How do you hear? How do you remember that? It's pretty good, right? So what do they call them? Yeah. Core memories. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, core memories. Yeah, core memories. Because I heard this and I was like, and then I got rhythm all of a sudden. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> when you're a kid, you don't look in the mirror that much, so I don't know if I was like that. But in my head, I was like this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, because you don't really look in the mirror as a kid. It's kind of a beautiful thing. Down with all mirrors. Take, take them all out. We don't need them. It's something I've argued and fought for 10 years in this industry because it's happened everywhere. And it happens, you know, powerlifting to bodybuilding, bodybuilding to this. Um, I think the more we can understand each other, the more you can lift with experienced lifters, advanced lifters, and have some perspective on it. I think people dive in and, and it's done in Kruger stuff, right? They dive in, it's all this, this middle ground is the one talking shit. But once you've been doing it for five to 10 years, you start to get a little more perspective on it. Like, man, I don't do what he does, and I don't even enjoy that, but that's fucking rad. Um, and I think that's really what it is. It's kind of an appreciation. It's a little bit, and I know we've been on our life coach shit lately, but it's the truth. I think 
I think once you appreciate someone's differences, you don't have to do it. You don't have to love it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to participate. But I think we can still give daps where daps are due. I don't love, I can't say I'm the biggest football or soccer fan. I, I played a little soccer. Uh, I'm Argentinian, so I watch the World Cup, and I understand the sport well. I played it for 10 years, but I don't watch every game. But I can still watch and appreciate what these athletes are doing, even though I think LeBron James is the freakiest athlete in the world. Like, those don't have to butt heads. They can be separate entities. They're not exclusively mutual. Um, and I think same thing here. Like, you can be a Jamal Browner fan and a Russ fan, right? And I think that's a good combo that's helping the sport. Those guys hanging out together and lifting together. But you can enjoy ladies lifting. You can enjoy stiff bar. You can enjoy Olympic weightlifting, even though you're not an Olympic weightlifter. Um, there's so many things that are cool within the fitness space, and the community has to come first, not the pounds on the bar, the company you rep, and what how stiff your fucking barbell is. It's just non- Mikey. Here! We doing uh, Q&A's when you start cutting? Ladies and gentlemen, so deadlift uh, series continues, but I want to help y'all and answer questions from y'all. Oftentimes I'll take stuff from Instagram and answer it here, but let's grow this YouTube only community. Y'all are the squad, you've rocked with me the longest. Um, so comment below, ask anything you want. Business, fashion, life, lifting, nutrition. Um, and we'll start to answer those or even base full videos around your questions if they're good enough so answer below you can obviously join discord and ask too um, but let's get them going in the comments below light them up no such thing as a dumb question and we'll start plowing through them things are going crazy so we got this huge meet coming feb four and five and so the planning for that's starting to rev up really hard um me and steve has been in the lab designing the next drops uh so we've got a couple tees on the way and the next full collections obviously in the works so that's exciting and getting the ball moving there um i'm heading to vegas thursday friday I'm not sure I'm training or if I'll vlog it or not, but I'll see Bart for a little bit for sure. We'll see what's going on there. Um, and otherwise, man, the team's on full flow. The team's kicking it. Uh, gym's going hard. The gym has grown more over the last three months than it has in like six months before that. Um, so the community's really growing, I think, with y'all online and in person. So I can't complain. It's hectic. And there's a lot of little plates I'm juggling, but things are good. Instagram, TikTok slowly moving. Twitch streams aren't what I want them to be, but you know, step by step, you gotta give yourself a little bit of grace. Um, so hopefully more gaming content too, but honestly, I was just a little disappointed with Warzone 2. I was hoping I'd get addicted to it and then force myself to play it. Um, Cause again, we have all these plates going. I gotta keep them spinning while I add new shit. And if the new shit isn't very enticing, it's hard for me to neglect some of these other plates to be honest, but um, everything's good. I need a haircut. That's what we really need. Probably when I come back, we need a haircut. Comment below what we should dye this thing. I think I'm gonna bleach it again, but. It's shaggy, bro. Keeping the beard, because it's the bulk beard. The beard will only go away when I'm, you know, sub 195 again, the beard's staying. But the, the hair, probably a bleach and a trim up, because it's going crazy right now. Some kind of evidence out there somewhere where a 10 to 15, 20 minute walk post workout will have the same recovery effects as all this ice bath and bullshit everyone's doing. You can call it a cool down, you can call it a recovery walk, you can call it cardio. I don't give a fuck what you call it, but after a hard training session, I just chug some water in the back, quick meeting with Seabass. Now I'm gonna walk for just 10, 15 minutes. Nothing crazy, I'm not going crazy. Two to three miles per hour, a little uh, incline going. That's that. Uh, a couple deliveries here at, at, at Third Street. Upgrading some of the equipment, so we got a busy day today. Meetings tomorrow, meeting today. Third Street uh, Classic, February 4 and 5, open to the public. We got 200 lifters, we're gonna have a prime time. We're gonna have some sponsors. 
Um, it's going to be big time. So we've got a bunch of pro power lifters coming that will be competing. Um, it's going to be an absolute party. A bunch of big names, a bunch of big name coaches. Um, it should be good. So mark your calendars, Sacramento, California. Downtown Sacramento, 3rd Street Barbell will be hosting it at 3rd Street. Brand new video every Monday, Thursday. Appreciate you guys. Driven by culture and the community. Uh, we over me. Sell the mic. I'm out of here. Catch you in the next one.